like a boss. Okay, ladies, so this is the proper way to deal with a guy when he pulls away. This is a very simple um, strategy, and I gave it a name so that that concept could be in your head all the time, okay? Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, so that when I do a live stream, you guys can call in and, and actually talk to me for all the freeloaders. Follow me on Instagram. It's nice. It's in the description down below. Actually, you can see it right here. It's the Lexus P. You can follow me there, all right? True fans, true toxic fans, follow me there. The way to deal with it is called mirror and exaggerate. Now, there are other ways to deal with when the guy pulls away and that means calling him out, right? And I would recommend only doing that when you have that kind of level of trust. Um, when you guys have been together for a long time and you, you know, like, like that comes with trust. But in the beginning, always use the strategy, especially in the beginning, because a lot of the times people pull away to test your strength. Sometimes we as men pull away to see how much you like us. And once you pursue, once we pull away, it means we won. So how do you deal with it? The first one is in any occasion, I don't care what kind of pulling away is, all you gotta do is just mirror him. If he doesn't talk to you for a week, you don't talk to him for a week. But the difference is, is that we are exaggerating it. That means he doesn't talk to you for a week, you don't talk to him for two weeks. That means if he takes 10 hours to respond, you take a whole day to respond. That means if he's cold over phone call, you become the, the goddamn tundra. What I'm trying to say is that you give him a taste of his own medicine. Why? Because a lot of times people are bluffing. A lot of times they're hoping that the strategy works. And a lot of times they don't got the patience to wait. You see, the key to all of this is you controlling your emotions. And I'm not going to lie. It is very difficult. And that's why I recommend that if you're in that situation, do not ask your friends what to do because your friends will always tell you what you want to hear. Your friends see you being sad, depressed at the fact that that guy don't like you. So they want to see you happy. So they tell you to text them. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it works, but deep down, they lose a little respect for you. So the way to preserve your power, because my toxic gang preserves their power, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We are a toxic bunch. We are the Alexians the most toxic channel on the planet, right? The way to maintain that is by making him come to you. Now, what might happen is that you might lose interest in him. I'm not going to lie. Because sometimes you might see him. Sometimes you, you sort of, you deep down expect him not to come back. And when he comes back, you sort of lose respect for that. You know what I'm saying? It's very backwards. We're, we as humans are very backwards. But the point is, is that in my life, this has worked. This has worked. And the hardest part with this is actually following through. That is really the hardest part. Because I'm telling you, man, especially if you like the person, you're going to feel very anxious inside. You just are. You're going to feel very anxious. And the way to deal with that kind of anxiety for whenever you're pulling away from a guy, these are some of the things you could do. Work out. I'm not even kidding with you. Work out. Lift weights. Put on all of that emotion and push it towards working out. It does help. I'm not going to lie. It does help. Um, when, I, when I've been in that situation, I just go and lift weights. Another thing that you can do is meditate. If you don't know how to do it, go read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Something else that you can do is write your emotions down. There's a video that I have. It's called How to Be Happy with a Pen and Paper. Go check it out. It'll teach you a meditation on how to deal with your emotional distress with your sadness that comes from dating. It's really good, go check it out. I actually highly recommend it. And all you do is just get a pen and paper, do exactly what that video says when you feel down and you'll notice that you actually feel better. Other things that you could do is be around people, help people, volunteer, help other people, give money to a homeless person. Selfless acts makes you feel good. I'm not even kidding. The last time I felt like shit, I went to a restaurant and just gave a gave three times the amount of tips. Like like if it was if the meal was ten dollars, I gave thirty dollar tip. Why? Because it, I knew that that was gonna make them happy, and it made me happy. So giving to people actually helps you deal with the sadness. Human connection does that. You know what I'm saying? So 
So all in all, mirror and exaggerate when a guy's pulling away consistently. That is the best strategy to do. Um, and if and look, man, if the guy doesn't react to you, to to this strategy, look, man, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think he likes you or he has too much pride. Um, it depends how desperate you are to chase him. If you're really desperate, if you cannot live a whole day without him, then go ahead and text him. You know, but just know that he's gonna lose respect for you. So if you're in that kind of situation, go back. If you, if you want to go back to him, go back, but then pull away again. You have to at least get him to chase you. you. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and go back. If you really are desperate if you're, and you don't want to do the strategy, go ahead and go back. But just make sure that you're much colder. And the problem with this, it takes a lot of emotional maturity. You got to control yourself. And it's difficult. You know what I'm saying? It really is. So this is a way for you to grow. If you're able to deal with this pain without escaping through drugs and alcohol, you're going to grow. You know, and, and, and it's not going to be comfortable, but that's how you grow as an individual. You know what I'm saying? All right, Toxic Fathers, Adams for My for Attraction. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, don't forget to, if you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to MyForAttraction.org. Peace out. Stay toxic. All right, ladies. So... This is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for, and it's the Psychological Game of Attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30 day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you need to understand that dating is a game you need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other you know it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation after that we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship they and they all go in these three phases and these phases could overlap each other at times right the first phase is the pre-honeymoon period it is when you first know the person or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy or it is when you guys broke up or and are back together or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other and now you guys want to rekindle things this works in any point of the relationship that that you need to spark interest and curiosity so these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity how to get to know the guy the right way using your non-verbals how to create a powerful reputation it's it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff after that is a honeymoon period this honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection so all of these videos are specifically geared to that not the 30 no no, no. these specific videos are there for this phase and this phase is any phase you guys are having a good happy happy moment you guys just got back together and now you get you feel that peak you feel that that happiness that you guys felt that's what this is right so these videos are there for that creating a lonely fantasy the preemptive breakup the triangle of love using words to control his man it's, it's powerful stuff after that is the post honeymoon period and again is is a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created so if you're, if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos. And, and, and if you, and, and all you got to do is just say, all right, where am I? I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. 
this is the, the the how to how to overcome manipulation identifying manipulation the term manipulation defending yourself against manipulation what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment it's pretty much it's an extremely succinct and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoyed this all right see you guys inside